Hi, Habibi here. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to play some audio files by clicking some buttons. So let's get let's get started by creating an an empty game object. Here, I create a game object. I call it my audio manager. Oops, let me delete that symbol. Then we create a script. Let's call it my audio manager then we attach this script to the audio manager game object this way and here we need to add uh, audio source component then let's open the script and edit it here we are going to create a public uh, public audio clip variable audio clip let's say we have three audio files and I will call it one and the second one will be two and three and then we are going to initialize audio source component or let's just name it audio then here inside the start uh, function we we dis we assign the value of get component audio source to the audio variable audio equals to get component audio source let's delete this update block and here we are going to create a public function public void we we name it play sound and this method will accept one parameter let's say the string as the parameter string audio name then inside this uh, inside inside this function let's say we are going to play the first one which is this one audio one what we are going to do is to assign the audio clip to the out to the audio source audio dot clip equals to this one then audio dot play this one is to assign uh, an audio clip to the audio source and this one to play that audio and let's go back to our unity let's create some just let's create one button here I name it audio one and then here uh, on the on click we add we click this plus button and drag and drop this audio manager here and then here we choose audios my audio manager play sound then we type the name of the audio file that we are going to play I forgot to mention that I have already have three audio files here one two and three let's say we are going to play the first one I type one
actually we can type anything here I will show you what is the difference we can type anything or not here nothing is different but let's say we type 1 for now and then let's let's check this one first the my audio manager we should uh, track and drop the audio files here one I place it here two and three if we go back to the script when this uh, method is called the audio clip with this audio uh, the audio audio source with this audio clip will be played so if we try to play the game if we start the unity here if we click it we will hear the first audio that is the first audio let's check this audio you can hear that this is the second audio and this is the third audio what if we want to play the second audio we can just replace this one with the two and if we can play it and click it and also the three okay now what the question is what if we want to make three buttons and each one of the buttons will play uh, any of these two three audios so what we can do is let's create the buttons first let's duplicate these buttons this is the second one and the third one let's just re rename the text change the text to audio 1, 2 and 3 okay and we need to go back to the script here we need to just let's cut it here inside the method we need to to switch switch statement switch switch audio name then open and close the brackets between them between them we will check each uh, we will check the cases the first case in case the audio name is one then we set the audio clip to one let's put it after the switch then here we need to type break that is for the first one and this is the second one two and don't forget to change it also to two and the third one three so this variable names are or them and this one is the string that we are going to type on the on click listener of our buttons in unity so if you if we go back to our unity editor we can set the string here so if you click this button it will call this method on this script my audio and the parameter we set it to one and for this one we will type two 
and for the third one we type 3 and let's click the play button we click the first one the second one and the third one okay that's all for this tutorial uh, I hope you like it and thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel bye bye see you next time